the laying of a wreath, and the sound of bagpipes. These ceremonial gestures serve as a reminder of what aging veterans hope will not be a forgotten war. It's important for uh, the Korean War veterans themselves to be uh, recognized by the government of Canada. And Canada did just that by establishing an act for a National Day of Remembrance to honor Canadian veterans of the Korean War every July 27th. This day comes with many mixed feelings. Gordon Brown is one of the few veterans left in Lethbridge that saw action during the Korean War. I was there most of 1951 and, and a good part of 52. The 84-year-old was the second president of Unit 53, which existed to remind people about what these war vets went through. Uh, we, we could see that it was very quickly becoming a, a forgotten, forgotten experience or a forgotten war. After many years, it initially was a police action, and so fighting in a war versus a police action is different in the Canadian psyche of how they're treated. Um, veterans who fought in the Korea War actually were not allowed to join the Legion because it wasn't considered a war. Uh, times have changed. We lost 516 Canadians in that uh, two years, one month, and two days of the war. And it was a very sharp, very bitter war. And Unit 53 has always worked very hard at, at trying to uh, pass that information on and pass the, the feelings on and uh, so that the younger people know that uh, the freedoms that we have, that we enjoy in this country today, were bought and paid for, not solely by the Korea vets, but by veterans of all wars. Brown explains that Unit 53 is now retiring into a heritage unit. It's a bit of a sad day because it is the last official function of this unit. I was a, I was a charter member of this Unit 53, and uh, I was there when it was when it was born, when it was conceived. We're all getting older and falling by the wayside and finding it a little bit harder to uh, to do the active work to keep the unit going. So it was it was decided uh, when it got down to a certain point that we would just uh, withdraw it into a heritage unit. It's important as we pass the torch uh, for generations today, uh, the, the women, um, the young ladies who were participating today uh, were dressed in their Korean um, traditional outfits. Um, but what does that mean to someone in Canada who doesn't know anything about the Korea War uh, and the connection with that? And it's important as we pass the torch of remembrance that they have an opportunity to see these veterans because every year, sadly, they're becoming less and less. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Jeanette Roche.